this video is sponsored by PotownStore.com, the best place to get yourself some TCGO code cards. Whether you're looking for that last card to complete your online deck or just to get the latest booster packs in town, they literally have everything and you can use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG for 5% off on your complete order. Then there's also CardMarket.com. This is a European platform where you're able to buy and sell cards to people all across Europe. I personally use it every single day to get rid of cards that I don't need to get the cards that I really need for competitive tournaments. Also, this video is sponsored by YourPlayMat.com. This is a website to create your own custom playmat. Ideal for the new season, upload your favorite wallpaper or unique logo and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. You can get 10% off by clicking the link down below and they ship worldwide so definitely check it out. Last but certainly not least is DragonShield.com. There are links down below for Europe and US people all alike and you're gonna be able to of course buy uh, sleeves, binders and deck boxes which of course Dragon Shield is the best uh, brand out there to protect those beautiful cards. The, the, the sleeves are very good as you can see they shuffle really well and I definitely recommend everybody getting a couple of these sleeves. Thanks for sticking around with the commercials and I'll see you guys soon. Peace! What's up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to our TCG video on my channel. In this video uh, you're going to be seeing the new uh, scans that we got from Japan from our upcoming Crown Zenith set. First of all be sure to hit that subscribe button, you're going to get daily Pokemon TCG content over here that you don't want to be missing out on. Today is uh, going to be uh, yeah, the Crown Zenith video, we're going to be talking about our last Sword and Shield set. Short and Shield has uh, been quite exciting for me personally because uh, we've been playing a lot of tournaments with these cards and uh, the Crown Zenith will uh, close it all off with a very special set that is only going to be available in special products. So no booster boxes will be uh, of course printed for a set like this. Uh, it's going to be very similar to uh, Shining Fates in that sense and it's going to have its uh, own subset gallery with of course the Galarian uh, gallery uh, as it calls. Uh, as it called, uh, it actually is going to be containing 70 cards in that special gallery with special illustrations which are very very beautiful so be aware this set will be very hyped because a lot of these uh, yeah, reprints uh, that have these special art is very great for collectors but also for players because some of them are actually in competitive decks so if you want to be pimping out those decks it's going to be very fantastic to of course utilize those beautiful cards and uh, the uh, Zenit set here the crown Zenit set will actually have over 160 cards in total and will be releasing on the 20th of January so with that being said we are of course uh, highly into Anticipating Silver Tempest on the 11th of November and then in two months time boom we have another set and it's actually going to be a, a special set to close off the Sword and Shield set before we move on to Scarlet and Violet. Scarlet and Violet will be of course the set in February so uh, it's going to be only like uh, after one month that this set is legal uh, there's going to be a, a new set of course the Scarlet and Violet base set um, and that's going to be uh, containing EX cards. We already did a video about EX cards returning to the format, which is going to be very, very, very exciting because uh, the EX cards actually evolve from regular basics. For instance, you have like a Magnemind, and boom, you rare candy into Magna, uh, Magnazone EX, which is going to be very fantastic. So, uh, as we've seen here, the gallery subset has 70 cards featuring Pokemon, Pokemon V, Pokemon V Max, supporter cards, V Stars, etc. And they have the beautiful artwork uh, treatment, which is super nice. Cards like Mewtwo V Star, Darkrai V Star. Uh, Hasuian Zorak V-Star will be available for the fans in the Galarian Gallery. So uh, yeah, very cool to see that. And uh, yeah, as you can see here, the official world's legal card list this summer revealed uh, to the Japanese players that many missing Japanese promos will be featured in Crown Zenith. So uh, a lot of like uh, artworks that we missed out on during like uh, their initial release in Japan, we're going to be getting those in uh, the upcoming set Crown Zenith. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at uh, some of these cards, but before we do, we're actually going to be stating here, this is actually what they're saying. There are three Radiant Pokemon featuring Shiny Charizard, Shiny Chargebug, and Shiny Eterned. So three new Radiant cards coming into the format. As we all know, you can only have one Radiant card in your entire deck, so choose wisely. Of course, we already know that uh, 
Charizard and Greninja are like uh, the most popular ones, actually the best ones out of the bunch from the Radiant Pokemon. Gardevoir also pretty good as well, but we'll see if that uh, Eternus or Chargebot can change up some th uh, things for specific decks. Five Colossal Pokemon V Maxes, so uh, that's gonna be crazy. More V Maxes. Are they gonna be reprints? We don't know yet. And eight Shining Pokemon V Star, including Zacian V Star and Zamazenta V Star. Okay, that makes sense. So Zacian and Zamazenta V Star initially were planned for Lost Origin. They actually were released over in Japan, and we didn't get them in that set. We also are not getting those in the Silver Tempest set, so that means they are actually gonna be coming into the special set Crown Z. Uh, we already know what they do, the Zacian uh, V-Star and the Zamazenta V-Star, they are not too groundbreaking for sure, but uh, I think Zacian V-Star could actually have its uh, benefits because Zacian V from Sword and Shield actually is pretty powerful, but we also have a little bit uh, of uh, worrying about like the rotation because uh, if the Zacian V with Intrepid Sword gets rotated and then we get Zacian V-Star that is still legal, then it's gonna be a, kind of a flop because Zacian uh, V-Star without the Zacian V with Intrepid Sword is pretty bad. Uh, there's 70 powerful Pokemon V and then 70 cards with special artwork. So that is um, actually excluding all these uh, fantastic cards like the Radiant Pokemon, the V Maxes, the V Stars, and the uh, 70 powerful Vs. With that being said, it's going to be having 70 cards with special artwork. And uh, yeah, we also know that uh, this is the ETB that it looks like. I know a lot of people are a fan of collecting ETBs. Lucario up on the cover. The colors are actually pretty bright, which is super nice. Like you have that uh, golden border around Lucario. And uh, that's actually the best way. You're going to be getting uh, 10 booster packs of Crown Zenith in that ETB. And uh, there's also uh, some additional boxes here. There is the Reggie Draco V. Which, funny enough, has a Regilecki. It's the great Regilecki, though, with the Terra Spark. So, might be cool for uh, people that, to get that Reggie Draco V collection box. Then there is the Regilecki V collection box. This is the wrong Draco, though. <laughs> Next, uh, yeah, we see that these are the, the promo artwork. So, uh, this is a promo card of the Regilecki V. And then there is Reggie Draco V. Okay. The uh, pack artworks, actually, the, the boxes, the bags of them. So, we have four booster packs of uh, Crown Zenith. Including, uh, yeah, whoa, you can even uh, zoom in very uh, deeply into that uh, product. So, uh, four booster packs, a jumbo promo of the Reggie Lucky V or the Reggie Draco V, and then, uh, yeah, a playable Reggie Lucky V or Reggie Draco V, depending on what you want to be making. Reggie Lucky V Max is great in the Vicavolt deck. Reggie Draco V Star is a deck on its own that we're going to be testing out on the channel very shortly. There's also going to be a Crown Zenith Mini Tins uh, that have uh, Sonya and Marnie up on the covers. Uh, even Leon, so that's cool, as well as Hop and Bead as well. Okay, then the blisters. Blisters look pretty nice. They have those uh, collection pins here. There's a, a Cinderace single strike. There's Inteleon with quick shooting in a promo. So that's cool, right? We already have, of course, uh, Inteleon uh, quick shooting. Has seen a lot of play, but has been seeing a reduction in play. Like most lists only run one copy because Shady Dealings Inteleon is probably uh, the best one out of the bunch to get anything you want from the deck. And then there's Rillaboom. Cool. Then uh, a more Peko V Union. This is the al alternate artwork, by the way, with Marnie commanding more Peko to destroy opponents. So uh, that's going to be releasing as well. So lots of uh, Crown Zenith uh, uh, products. Even this the figurine product here with a shiny Zacian V. Uh, actually, a shiny uh, Zacian V uh, card and then a, a Zacian figurine. And that is actually like uh, containing, if I'm cal 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 calculating correctly, like 10 Busher packs. Cool, so 10 booster packs and then, uh, yeah, is that sleeves? I don't know what this is, crazy. So uh, shiny, includes 11, uh, yeah, okay, 11 booster packs, makes sense. Okay, I needed this uh, Z Zamazenta V shiny one. And uh, this is actually the, the great Intrepid Sword Station. So these are all the products releasing for crowns in it, as we know for now. And there's already like a handful, more than a handful of uh, these special gallery cards that we're going to be taking a look at together. So uh, let's see if I'm able to uh, make sure that we can uh, put it on full screen, maybe. Uh, nah, it's not going to work. It's not going to work. But we do see the artwork, so you don't have to uh, be uh, thinking about like the retreat cost and HP and stuff. This is the Manaphy with the bench protection. So uh, that's going to be super cool to have this Manaphy. It's a character rare. It's super cool. These artworks you see, the wishy washes in the back. There is Bruxish, there is the Puki Mukus, uh, even the Toxa pack. So uh, I love the artwork so much. And uh, there's the Piggy pack uh, looking around like, who? this Manaphy is going to be protecting your bench in style. Then Mew. This is, uh, I think this is the Mew from Celebrations, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, let me just verify this real quick uh, by going to Limitless. 
uh, type in Mew from Celebration. I think that Mew also slaps 30 damage. Not that you ever use that, to be honest. So uh, Mew from Celebrations comes back 60 HP. Is that Mysterious Tail? Uh, side shot, 30 damage, 60 HP, Mysterious Tail. That does seem to look like it's that one, yeah. The Mew from Celebrations. Do we even have the Japanese guy? I think this is the Mew from Celebrations. If I'm wrong, correct me on this, but uh, it does look like that's the one we're gonna be uh, getting here. Uh, some Nidorans looking around. I love the way that they're adding multiple Pokemon to the, the way uh, <laughs> this Mew is actually eating a Citrus Berry, if I'm not mistaken. So, very cool Celebration Mew. I used to play this in the an EYC during last season uh, with, of course, uh, my Beedrill build, which was super nice. Moving forward is Diancy. Look at this artwork, man. Wow, Diancy protecting uh, uh, your Pokemon on the bench from getting bossed or Serena up with, of course, its uh, ability here. Very cool. We did see this working out in like some Zoroark builds already and even Dialga builds before it. There's Absol. This is actually an Absol which can slap 10 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon and then slaps 50 damage plus 70 more of the opponent already has damage. This was actually a counter for uh, Mill Tank and the Dark Ride deck, or in any Darkness deck for that matter. Very cool. I uh, know Arne, uh, our squad member, will definitely. Love having Absol, uh, a character rare like this, actually a, a gallery, a Galarian gallery if I might add. So uh, yeah, his favorite Pokemon is Absol, it's gonna be cool. Next is Gudra, this is the Gudra that uh, any Pokemon with metal energies uh, are, uh, is protected from getting bossed up. Or I don't know what this Gudra was, I'm actually gonna be uh, checking it out here. It actually was available in the Lost Origin set. Uh, Lost Origin here, this is the Gudra we are currently talking about here, 140 damage, yeah, that's the one. Prevent all damage done to each of your basic Pokemon that have any Metal Energies attack, yeah, from V Pokemon, okay. This might actually see play at one point, so uh, very cool artwork for sure. <laughs> Look at this innocence of the Gudra, Hasuian Gudra, cool. Moving forward is Altaria. Uh, this is the Altaria that can get a supporter card on top of the deck. 90 HP, free retreats. I did have seen uh, recently some play in my video of the uh, Hasuian Arcanine and Zoroark. Uh, so cool to see that. Then there's Galarian Articuno V. Hasn't seen a lot of play, let's be honest. But look at this artwork. Galarian Articuno majestically uh, roaming around the forest. I love the bright colors here and uh, the way the sun is uh, uh, yeah, pictured here on uh, the card. It allows you to discard two cards from hand in order to draw one card. So maybe you can put those V Union pieces in the in the discard pile or whatever. Didn't see a lot of play during its lifespan. Galarian Zapdos. This is actually the one that if you slap it down, you can get two fighting energies from your hand attached to it. Uh, has seen some niche play with Galarian uh, Surfetched V, and uh, hitting for weakness during the days of Brilliant Stars to just KO stuff like Arceus. Fighting types not too relevant at this point anymore because Lugia's coming out with resistance to fighting, so that's that. Like, <laughs> look at this Dodre running away, Zapdos running after it. Very cool artwork. Then there is, wow. I, it seems like Galarian Moltres, uh, this Galarian Moltres V, by the way, uh, always gets the best artworks. Uh, we also saw the one with the full moon during uh, the uh, secret rare, or actually, was it the secret rare? Alt art in the Chilling Rain set. Now, this one is cool as well. Uh, with its ability allowing you to absorb a fight, a fi not a fighting, uh, a darkness energy from your discard pile to it. You cannot uh, stack that. So it actually did see some play here and there. Even it was uh, utilized in uh, Gustavo Wada's winning uh, Urshifu VMAX list. So cool to see another artwork here. And then you might think, did we even have a competitive Numel? I don't even remember, but no. If you look closely, this is a ditto. And the ditto, we already know what the ditto does. It allows you to uh, use any attacks of your basic Pokemon in the discard pile. So uh, yeah, this ditto is hilarious. I love this artwork. Next is Dunsparce. Seen play in the Blizzy decks and might also see play in Lugia V-Star decks to protect yourself from your weakness from your Carlos Pokemon. So every Carlos Pokemon in play has uh, no longer weakness. This is a very playable card. And uh, look at all these. This is like a very cool artwork for Dunsparce. There's a Dunsparce in uh, the closet. There are some trophies standing there, even like an Aerodactyl I see here. This is a, a trainer, uh, a room from a trainer uh, that is fond of, a, yeah, if I'm seeing it correctly, a fossil Pokemon. We see an Amastar on uh, the two books on the desk. There is uh, the Aerodactyl statue there. <laughs> oh, very cool. I, I love this artwork. You can keep, like, these alt, alt, alt arts, like, keep giving more. The more you look at it, the better they become. Dunsparce, nice. 
Mill Tank, we already know what Mill Tank does. It protects yourself from damage from V Pokemon. So uh, yeah, the walling Pokemon, even though like a lot of people have a Shred. Giratina has Shred. Muvi Max has a uh, Max Miracle. Uh, Palkia has the Shady Dunes Italian. So not too relevant uh, anymore, but uh, it's a Mill Tank and it's eating some cheese. We see an Orange Berry there, a Pecha Berry as well. Uh, he's eating pie, there's pie, there's pastries, he's cooking. So Mill Tank is definitely Fond of food and uh, it looks like he's uh, around in a barn. <laughs> Very cool. Next is a uh, Suicune V. Look at this artwork. There's shooting stars all across the sky. You do see a little bit of space. So uh, wow, this is a, a remote area for the Suicune V. Who remembers Suicune V Ludicolo? Let me know in the comments down below. But this artwork, wow. So beautiful. Uh, yeah, with of course the Blizzard run though and allowing to draw a card if it's in the active slots. It did see some play during its heydays, but not too much anymore. Ante V. It looks very weird, this artwork. It's like uh, a collector spin thrown upon uh, an artwork. <laughs> Don't know. It's still looking pretty nice though, and it probably will have like a, a lot of great textures on the card. This is a volcano eruption, and uh, this is like the same. Uh, like the legendary dogs here all have artworks. This is super cool. Like a Raikou V is so fast that it's uh, like really like uh, walking towards uh, its destiny with uh, at the speed of light. Very cool to see like uh, the uh, lightning uh, thunderbolts and all that on the card. Very cool to see it. So uh, Raikou all still sees a little bit of play because of the way you can set up with Melanie and uh, knock out the uh, Palkias with it. Wow, look at this one. We already got to see this one, but this is Mewtwo V Star. And uh, if we look a little bit closer at the artwork, we see a little diglet uh, on the bottom here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but <laughs> look at that. There's a little diglet uh, below. And not only that, there is here that uh, Tangrode uh, getting slapped and then the Charizard looking uh, like they're in the battle. So Mewtwo against Charizard, super cool artwork for sure. Then uh, on the other side, we do see uh, that Charizard is also uh, looking uh, true below uh, at the same uh, picture here. We do see that same Tangrode in, in the background, so they're completing the artwork right there. And the, uh, the Diglett also still part of the artwork. Mewtwo charging up a Shadow Ball to just slap around on Charizard. Super cool Charizard V-Star artwork for sure. Then there's the Hasuian uh, Zoroark V-Star. If there's ever a time and place to play Zoroark V-Star, now is the time. This artwork is so, so well done. I love it. It is by uh, C. Nanahara, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so uh, cool, cool. Super crazy Zoroark, like looking very... <laughs> it has an evil eye, let's just be honest. Looking crazy. Next is... Uh, for some specific reason, Samurad V-Star is uh, walling behind... A Snorrent. <laughs> Very fun fact. I played Snorrent uh, during the World Championships in 2019 in my unique Frostlass Aerodactyl Lucario deck. Very, very cool to see Snorrent. Still has a soft spot in my heart, but look at this. Uh, if you don't know what uh, a Darkness Pokemon should look like, like the evil is just the aurora around the uh, Samurai is insane. Uh, Samurai isn't seen a lot of play, to be honest. Luminion V. We already have the Alt Art Luminion V, but this has the Coral Reef uh, package around it. It is uh, in a dark cave, uh, having some light with uh, its uh, surroundings. Very cool. Oh, I love this Luminion. Also going to be very nice to just go through your deck and find the Luminion. Luminion will be better after rotation as well. Then there's some supporters here. There's a Raihan. We already have uh, a lot of great Raihan cards, but Raihan sees a lot of play, so it's a nice competitive card. You see uh, the Rotom phone in the back, and uh, he's uh, autographing uh, a Pokeball, so very nice to see. Like, there are a lot of fans that like, he's in the paparazzi, you know, a Raihan. Then there's Cynthia. Yo, this looks like uh, Temple of Sinnoh <laughs> in the back, but uh, it has the Gastrodon. She's walking and uh, thinking about our next move. Uh, Cynthia was very great. Did see some play in the Rapid Strike Malamar decks. Did see some play in the Reggie decks. Uh, like one prize decks is gonna be great. Drawing cards until you have eight cards in hand if a Pokemon got knocked out during your last turn. Then there's Roxanne. Roxanne with Aerodactyl Skeleton in the, on the top. There's uh, Bastiodon and the Tyrantrum. So she is all up into fossils. And uh, the thing we see here is like, <laughs> this Roxanne looks super cute and uh, Will this Roxanne also be a lie? We don't know. But uh, the current Roxanne that I'm playing is always a lie. I Roxanne the opponent, they, they draw into research. Always. Next is uh, Gardenia. Wow, this card is like just... It looks like <laughs> an artwork, like a painting for uh, for, uh, for all I care. Now look at the, There's a Balsam there, there's a Cherubi there. If you look closely, you also see 
the Cherum here, if I'm not mistaken. It's not the, the sunny form, it's just uh, <laughs> hiding a little bit. Uh, Gardenia giving some uh, water to all the plants and stuff. Cool. Yeah, uh, Gardenia is not seeing a lot of play, but maybe that could change with Reggie Draco V Star. That's the only deck I probably would be seeing uh, Gardenia, in, unless we see a very broken grass type EX or whatever. Moving forward, Leafeon V Star. Just uh, chilling around uh, on a, a desk with a lot of plans behind it. Leafeon V Star is, of course, very great because it has the Boss Zords as ability. And uh, did see some niche play here and there also. Uh, we did see it recently in a Lost Engine box with Sosa. <laughs> Next is uh, Glaceon V-Star. Wow. Beautiful Glaceon. Evolution collectors will go nuts on the set. And this is only like a couple of cards I'm showcasing right now, but there will be definitely more. So that's super cool. So Glaceon V-Star, not a great uh, V-Star uh, for that matter. Low HP, not the greatest attacks in the world. But it's still a great card. Look at this one. Oh yeah, Zera Aura V Star. It is, uh, yo, Thunder is all upon this card. I love the way like the blue and the yellow uh, contra contract with each, with each other. And, like they combine a very beautiful artwork there. It's like so powerful that even like uh, it, it's damaging everything with electricity, which is nice. So uh, Zera Aura V Star, and then. This is so beautiful, like so, Or Beetle V Max is based on a UFO and uh, Deoxys is an alien Pokemon. We see uh, some planets in the back and then uh, the light shining from the Or Beetle V Max to just showcase Deoxys. This is a space Pokemon all up into one card, super cool card for sure. So yeah, that is uh, some of the artworks that we're gonna be getting in uh, Crowns in it. Of course, you can already uh, at specific websites make your pre-orders, but it only will come out on the 20th of January, containing a lot of playable reprint cards. For instance, this Manaphy will be uh, sliding instantly into decks. Uh, we're also gonna be seeing, uh, let's see here, what other cards will be seen. Maybe the Mill Tank and the Blizzy decks will have this. You can have some character rares in a lot of decks. Luminion looks super nice. Roxanne looks super nice. So it's a great time to be playing the competitive, uh, yeah, playing the game competitively with all these beautiful artworks that we're getting treated with. So hopefully, you guys, enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to let me know by rocking the hell out of the like button. Helps out in many ways, and hopefully, you know a little bit more on the Crown Zenith set uh, with this video. And uh, yeah, go check out our sponsors. Uh, PokedownStore.com, the best place to get TCGO code cards. Uh, yeah, Pokedown will definitely have Silver Tempest up on stock very shortly. So uh, refresh the website in about a week and you're going to be able to uh, get the codes instantly delivered to you uh, through email. You can use the coupon code ZABLOCTCG for 5% off. There's CardMarket.com for European players. You can uh, buy and sell cards to people all across Europe using the referral name ZABLOCTCG helps support the channel. There's Dragon Shield, the best quality sleeves around, let's be honest, the best brands. You can use, of course, uh, the links down below to purchase sleeves, binders, and deck boxes. And last but not least is yourplaymat.com. This is a website for people worldwide if you want to create your own custom playmat. You can upload your favorite design or your own wallpaper, whatever you see that you, uh, is uh, gonna be beautiful on the playmat, you can upload it and they turn it into a beautiful playmat. And you can get 10% off by clicking the link down below. Anyhow, have yourself a fantastic rest of your day and I'll see you guys sooner rather than later with more Pokemon TCG content. Peace!